assalamu alaikum everyone i hope you guys are doing well so in this video we are as i mentioned in the last video that in the next video we're going to be looking into a very interesting uh condition and this condition is well when you have questions like you know so and so people must not be together so and so people must not be separated or either or meaning that either one person either they're you know all in or all out or if either a brother is in the team or the sister but not both so Let's see. Once again, it's very important that you read the question and you familiarize yourself with the question before you do anything else. Okay? So, let's see what the first question says. A group of nine people consists of two boys, three girls, and four adults. In how many ways can a team of four be chosen if the adults are either all in the team or all not in the team? Okay. So, like I said, so patience is key here. Patience to make sure that you understand what it is that the question has given, what it is that it's asking for. So the spotlight is basically on the adults. So either they're all in or all out. So, so all in or not, meaning that they're either they're in or they're not. So that means there are two possibilities. Either they're all in or they're not. So if they're all in, okay, now the question is, how many adults do you really have to choose from? Okay, so we have, so we're going to start with the adults. Okay, so we have four adults. And then we have two boys and then we have three girls. So if they're all in, okay, and we are talking about the team that has to be chosen has to be of four people. So if you're choosing a team of four people, okay, and there's got to be, and you have to make sure that all the adults are selected. So that means as far as the adults are select, uh, as far as the adults are concerned, they'll make the whole team. You know, you don't need any more boys. You don't need any more girls. So the adults literally make up the entire team. So that means from the four adults, we select all four. From the two boys, we select zero. So that would be 2C0. Now, whether you do it or not, it really does not make a difference. But just so you guys know, you know, why we're not, what we're, so just so you know what we're doing with the boys and the girls, this is what we're doing. 2C0 and 3C0. So that means there's just one way. Okay. Then what if we make sure that they're all out, meaning they're not in the team anymore. So we're talking about four adults, we're talking about two boys and we're talking about three girls. Now, if I have to make sure that no adult is selected, I would do 4C0, okay? Now, the remaining four, okay? Not the remaining four. Actually, we haven't really selected anyone. So that means as far as the remaining, uh, as far as the four people that we actually have to select are concerned, they can come from these two groups combined, meaning combined, the boys and girls combined. It really doesn't matter because there's no such restriction where it says, you know, there's got to be so-and-so boys, so-and-so many girls. It doesn't say anything like that. So that means there are five people to choose from. You know, we, we're going to classify them as one single group and we have to select how many? We have to select four. Okay, so what's 5C4 equal to? I think it's equal to 5, but just to be on the safe side, 5C4 is in fact equal to 5. Now, what's the answer? The answer is 6. So there are six ways that you can select a team of four if the adults are either all in the team or all out of the team. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Now, as always, I would encourage you to pause the video and you know, attempt this question yourself and then see whether you got it right or not. So a team of three boys and three girls is to be chosen from a group of 12 boys and 9 girls. All right, so pretty straightforward. To enter a commotion, okay. Tom and Henry are two of the boys in the group. Find the number of ways in which the team can be chosen if Tom and Henry are either both in the team or both not in the team. Okay, I love these kind of questions, you know. So let's put both of them in the team. So that, once again, that means there are two ways to solve this question. Either they're both in or they're both out. Okay, if they're both in, now, remember that you had 12 boys to choose from. Okay, you had 12 boys to choose from. Now, if you have already selected two, okay, and who are the two? Tom and Henry. So that means now you have 11 to choose from. Okay. Now, also keep in mind that you had to select a group of three boys and three girls. Okay, so you had to select three boys and three girls. Okay, so if you had to select three boys and three girls, so that means you've already selected two. Okay, if you think about it, you've already selected two. That means now you just have to select one. Now, as far as the girls are concerned, there's no restriction. Okay, as far as the girls are concerned, there's no, there is no restriction in the sense that there is no condition applied to the girls. We still have to select all three of them. So that means this, no, no girl has been selected. So we're still selecting all three of them. But as far as the boys are concerned, we only have to select one. 
Okay. Okay. I just realized <laughs> 12 minus 2 is not 11. It's actually equal to 10. Okay. So they're both in. Now, how do you make sure that Tom and Henry are both in the team? We do 2C2. So this 2C2 is for what? This 2C2 is for Tom and Henry. Okay. Now, don't forget. Don't forget that you have to select three boys altogether. And so far, you've already selected two. Okay, so far you've only selected two, you have to select three. So where's the third boy going to come from? That third boy is going to come from the remaining 10 after selecting Tom and Henry. So this working that you're looking at is basically for the three boys. Okay, this working that you're looking at is basically for the three boys. Okay, let's make some room here. Let's drag this just a second. Yeah, let's drag this here. Okay, and let's drag this down here somewhere yeah okay now what about the girls how many girls do you have you have nine girls and you still have to select how many you still have to select all three so that means nine c3 pretty straightforward so this calculation that you're looking at is basically for the three girls okay now let's work this out 2c2 times 10c1 times 9c3 let's see what do we get 2c2 times 10c1 times 9c3 we have 840, but that's only half the work done, okay? Because we've considered both of them to be in. What about they're both out? Okay, so let's do the working for that. Let's make some room over here. Let's drag this down. So now let's see what happens if they are both out. That means we don't want any one of them. So here's what we're gonna do. As far as the 12 boys are concerned, okay? We're gonna exclude the two so we don't end up selecting them. Okay, so we're gonna be like, you know, get out. We don't want you anymore in the team. So the three boys that we're gonna select will basically come from the remaining 10. And how can we do that? That would be 10C3. So this 10C3 that you're looking at is simply for selecting three boys because we haven't selected any boy yet, okay? Now, as far as the girls are concerned, there are nine girls and you have to select three of them. So that's 9C3. No condition on the girls. So that would be 9C3. Now, if you want to see what's happening with Tom and Henry, you know, just to make them feel bad, it's 2C0. So we have two to choose from, but we're not going to choose anyone. So that's 2C0. So 2C0 times 10C3 times 9C3. So I'm just going to ignore 2C0. Uh, I'm just going to focus on 10C3 and 9C3. So we get 1,080. 1,000. No, actually 10,080. So 10,080, so 10,080 plus 840 will give us the total. So the total is equals to 10,080 plus 840. That's equal to 10,920. So there you go. That's the answer. Okay, now there's a, this is the standard way of solving questions like these. You guys don't have to you know, freak out that this is difficult. I mean, it is. It, initially, it will take you a while to get the hang of it, but there's a standard way of solving them. That is, you first include them. You select the remaining and then you exclude them and you select the remaining. That's it. This is the standard approach that can be applied to every single question there is. Now, question number three. Question three says, find the number of ways of selecting a group of nine people from 14 if two particular people cannot both be in the group together. Okay. So we have to select nine people from 14 if two particular people cannot both be in the group together. So what does that mean? That means either one is selected or neither is selected. Okay, so they both cannot be together. That means you can have one, you can have neither, but you can't have both. So how many ways is it possible that we have just one person in the group? Okay, so that's what we're going to look into. So both cannot be in the group together means that either one, either one, or there will be another condition, which is neither. So if we have to select either one, so there are two people, right? And out of the two, only one is selected. So that's 2C1. Now, notice that there are 14 people. Okay, now from the 14, we've already excluded two. Okay, why are we excluding both of them? Because if one is selected, then we also better exclude the other one. So we don't end up selecting that person. We don't end up uh, selecting from that person, you know, while that person is still in the group. That means now we have two to choose from. Now notice that we had to select nine people. So far, only one is selected, okay? Both of them are not selected. One is selected, one is removed. So that means one person who is already selected, now we have to select eight more. So how do you select eight more? That's 12C, uh, how do you select eight from 12? That's 12C8. Now if you work this out, you get 990. I'm just writing it directly to uh, save some time. 
Then what if we have to select neither? Now neither is pretty straightforward. That's 2C0. That means we still have to select nine people, but we have to select nine people from the remaining 12 because from the 14, we've excluded both of them. Now we're just down to 12 and we have to select nine from them. So that would be 12C9. Let's see what that's equal to. So 12C9, that's equal to 220. Let's add them up, see what do we get? 220 plus 990, that's equal to 1,210, which is the correct answer. 1,210, yeah, that's the correct answer. 990 plus 220, okay. Now, question number four, the last question. It says a committee of six people is to be chosen from nine women and five men, okay. And what's the condition? The condition is the nine women and five men include a sister and brother. Find the number of ways the, in which the committee can be chosen if the sister or brother. Okay, now there's a small misprint over here. It says both can't be on the committee. Okay, so that means either, either, either the brother is in and the sister is out, the sister is in and the brother is out. Okay, so once again, there are two ways to solve this question. Okay, so the brother and sister cannot be together. So the brother's in, which means the sister is out. Brother's in, sister out. Now, how can we do that? Let's see. So there's one brother, okay, one person who is the brother that must be selected. And there's one sister who must not be selected. So that's one C0. One brother is selected, one sister is not selected. Now, notice that you had 14 people to select from, okay, which, uh, and how 14? Because of nine plus five. Now, in this group, two people have already been removed. Okay, so the two people have been removed. That's the brother and the sister. Brother has been removed because he selected. Sister has been removed because she better not be selected. That means now you have 12 people to choose from. Now, you had to choose six people. Okay, now notice there is no, there is no condition. There is no condition as to how many uh, male, how many uh, men you should have and how many women. There is no such condition. You had to select six people. Now, because you've selected the brother, that means one person is selected. Now you still have to select five more. Okay, so brother is selected, you still have to select five more. So, and how many uh, options do you have? You have 12 options. So from the 12 options, you need to select five. So 12 options from which you need to select five. Okay, so that's when brother is in and the sister is out. Now there's another possibility. And that is that the sister is in, which means the brother must be out. Okay, so if sister is in, that's 1C1. And if the brother is out, that's 1C0. Now, if you think about it, the rest of the working remains the same. Why? Because uh, you can, you can, um, you will exclude two people from 14. So you will have 12. And from the six, one person is selected. So that means you have to select five more. So you can do that through 12C5. So that's 12C5. Now, because they're both 12C5, let's work them out. 12C5, so that's 792 each. Okay, 792 each. Now, here's the thing. You might think that, I think earlier I did say that there are two ways, two possibilities, but there are actually not. There are actually three possibilities because the question says that both of them cannot be in the team and the question does not say that one must be in the team. Okay, both of them can't be together. So if they're in the team, it's just the brother. If or the sister, and if they're not in the team, that means both of them can not be in the team. That's perfectly all right. So there's another, there's a third possibility also, and that is we don't end up selecting either of them. So think about it. If we don't end up selecting either of them, can we say that the brother and sister are both not on the committee or on the team? Yes, we can. So there is a third possibility as well, which I'm sure, just like how I missed it for a second, a lot of students would have missed this. So how do we make sure that they're both out? So two, you know, uh, two siblings, we select zero. And from the 14, we exclude them. So we don't end up selecting them. That means we have 12 to select from. And notice we still haven't selected any one of them. So that means we still have to make a committee of six. So that would be 12C6. Let's work this out. 12C6 is equals to 924. Now let's add them up. Let's see what we get. 924 plus 792 plus 792. And that's equal to 2,508. And that is the final and the correct answer, okay? So I hope you've understood this. I would encourage you guys to you know, solve the remaining questions. I'll attach a PDF to it um, to solve the remaining questions as practice. It's very important. 
And in the next video, we're going to be dealing with some other condition. So I'll see you guys then. Until then, take care. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.